Hey, what up, everybody? Stevie Breach coming to you. Uh, tonight was the uh, No Surrender TNA pay-per-view. Uh, I'm not even going to come on here and lie to you guys. I uh, did not watch this. I went to work. And uh, normally if I come home and, and people give uh, a show like this a, a good review, I will go out of the way and try to find some way of watching it. Um, but people hated this pay-per-view. They said it was boring. They said there was no point to it. And uh, it just didn't work. It just It just wasn't fun for people. Uh, so, I'm more than likely not going to watch this for a long time. There are not even things that I really want to go out of my way to watch. The only thing that, that seemed like uh, that something that I need to go find a way to watch is finding the celebration from Robert Roode winning uh, the Bound for Glory series. Bound for Glory series was just something that when they came up with the idea, they was like, man, this is a really good idea. This is something I really can get behind. And uh, right out of the gates, uh, it, it, it just lost all sense of uh anything it just it just they didn't care about it you could tell it was, it was something that they had a great idea about and just just did not follow through and did not run with it at all just um it made no sense when guys were having matches it made no sense that po people were getting points for tag team matches and um i don't know i just it just completely lost it and then the guy that was winning crimson you know gets taken out by samoa joe and all of a sudden he's injured and his points don't even really matter anymore it, it just made no sense at all, but um, I, I am very excited for Robert Roode. Robert Roode's a guy ever since he you know came into TNA under the Team Canada gimmick, even when he broke off of there and started Roode Industries with Tracy Brooks. Uh, looked like a guy that uh, TNA really wanted to push as a homegrown talent. Um, TNA really has never had somebody that they have pushed um, that was their own guy before. They've always sort of um, you know gone out and got other talent, such as... Uh, Christian, Raven, other guys like that, they, they came in, even Rhino, uh, you know, they would take guys from WB and they would, um, you know, put the title on them because of the, the big name and they would, it, would, it would create a big story that somebody from, you know, another company had came in and, and chosen to go to them. Um, but I mean, uh, just, I don't know why I want to get excited over this when I know in the outcome it's not going to turn out well for him. I mean, Robert Roode, uh, is 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 a part of one of the greatest you know tag teams maybe ever I mean if, at least one of the greatest tag teams out there right now, uh, Beer Money. This was a team with him and James Storm that uh, just clicked right out of the gates. This was a piece together tag team that was more than likely just going to be pushed throughout the month and just got over. And I mean it just got over huge. These have been uh, one of the biggest merch sellers and just uh, putting on uh, some of the greatest matches. Uh, the, the match series they did with the um, Motor City Ma Machine Guns was just off the charts, beyond awesome. I mean, uh, the best of seven series they came down to. Uh, they did ladder matches, they did cave matches, this, that, and the other. And then when the final match came along, it was just a basic, normal tag team match. Uh, that, that sold tag team wrestling for me, and I love tag team wrestling. It's the one thing that they care about. But like I was saying, I'm excited for uh, Robert Root actually getting a push uh, and, you know, it's being some homegrown talent. But when it comes down to it is TNA has had main eventers that wrestler uh, that wrestling fans really care about. And they've done nothing with them, such as Samoa Joe, who went through the Bound for Glory series and ended up with negative 10 points. Samoa Joe has not won a match on Impact or a pay-per-view in months. And it makes no sense at all. It, what, what it reminds me of, it reminds me of the treatment that Jericho was getting in WCW when they found out he wasn't going to re-sign with the company that he was going to go somewhere else and work for WWE. I mean, this guy has pointless, um, you know, he, he, this has, he has no storyline direction at all. It's, and he's going nowhere, and, he, and he's losing the people for no reason at all. He put over Matt Morgan on the pay-per-view. This 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 match should have been good. Just just two huge guys just duking it out, and he just took the fall. And he's gonna move on, and he's gonna put somebody over next month, and he's gonna put somebody over next month. It just he didn't even win a match in the Bound for Glory series that didn't mean anything. He didn't get to beat Scott Steiner. He didn't get to beat Gunner. I mean, hell, I mean, Gunner was taking, uh, w w was beating guys like Rob Van Dam. Ram Rob Van Dam's another guy. He's not even a, a, a homegrown TNA talent, and, and he's getting jobbed out these days. It, it, it just, 
makes no sense. I mean, a lot of these Bound for Glory series matches, you know, were putting over other feuds, and uh, people were doing run-ins, and they didn't even let Samoa Joe win a match that way to make sure that he wound up with some points, or, you know, not negative 10 points. So, um, all in all, I mean, the, the main storyline for this whole pay-per-view is setting up the, um, the Bound for Glory pay-per-view. Uh, you know, there, there's no way in the world they're going to let Angle and Robert Roode um, headline this. So you know that it's, the main event's going to be Sting against Hogan in a match that nobody wants to see. Unless, you know, you got in some, you know, Doc, uh, Doc Brown, you know, teleporter in his little car and went back in time and, and watched this in 1996, 1997. It's just, TNA is dumb. It's pointless, and it makes no sense. It just... I wish I can get behind this push, but like I said in the beginning, we all know where this is going. He's going to lose this match, and then he's probably going to get into a feud with the James Storm after this, and, and feud over beer money breaking up, and then there'll be no room for him in the main event again. They don't use guys like Kaz. They don't use AJ Styles. They don't use Samoa Joe. Why are they going to use Robert Roode? It makes no sense.